TV. I'm Mary, and we have lots of stories for you. Remember, you won't snooze while watching Sacred Heart News. To start us off, we have Reagan interviewing Miss Whitley about Hogwarts Club. Take it away, Reagan. Hey, Miss Whitley. We're here with Miss Whitley, who runs the Hogwarts Club. We're going to be interviewing her about Hogwarts. So, Miss Whitley, when, why did you start Hogwarts? I started Hogwarts about eight years ago because I just love the Harry Potter stuff and I and I, there were so many kids who were reading the books they were excited and it's just kind of a club that people love. What is your favorite house? I can't say that that's not fair I I like all the houses and some years you know every 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 year different houses win so it's, I can't really say. What is your favorite activity to do at Hogwarts? I really like to do potions those are always surprising and I like teaching Quidditch, but I also like just keeping points and just how we try to earn the house cup. What's your favorite Harry Potter movie? You know, a lot of people think the last one's the best, but I love Prisoner Azkaban, which is the third one. It has a lot of interesting people and kind of sad, so I like that one. What house is currently in first place? I believe it's Ravenclaw, but there's two more weeks, so we don't know for sure who won the house cup. How many kids are in Hogwarts? Right now we have 21, which puts uh, five people in every house. One house has six, so it works perfect. When did you start Hogwarts? I guess I started about eight years ago after I came here. And I started in uh, as a club after school, just like now. And one year I did in January, but uh, now we do it in the fall. Thank you for letting us interview you. You're welcome. Hi. Wow, that was a great interview, Mrs. Whitley. Next up, you know you love her. You guessed it. It's Miss Meyer. <laughs> you have been chosen for Teacher of the Month. Take it away, Gabby. I'm Gabby from Sacred Heart TV, and we're here with Miss Meyer, our Teacher of the Month, to ask her some questions. First off, what is your favorite part about teaching? Mm, I love teaching reading and math, but I also love um, how at the beginning of the year, um, the kids, beginning of the year to the end of the year, the kids learn so much. Um, third grade is such a, a big year with learning multiplication and division, and we learn Missouri history. So I love how at the end of the year they have learned so much um, from third grade. Mm -hmm. That's great. Okay, what, why is this your favorite gnome? This one's my favorite gnome. So a couple of years ago, my daughter saw this and I have a lemon theme and she said, Mom, you gotta get this gnome. It'll match your theme. And I said, Okay, great. Does this gnome have a name? Um no. Gosh, what do you think we should name him? I don't know. We'll have lemon? To that out. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> okay, that you are the queen of after school care. So um and you love doing it. So what is your favorite part about Sharp? <laughs> I love Sharp. I guess what I really love about Sharp is that um, I get to see some of the preschoolers and how they kind of interact with some of the, the school age kids. Um, Sharp is fun. So if any teachers out there would love to do Sharp, gosh, they should come and do Sharp with us. It's so much fun. I bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> we also heard that you have been teaching at Sacred Heart your whole career. I have. Yeah. Gosh. Well, I think I've been here like uh, 26 years. I just love Sacred Heart. I really do. I love Sacred Heart. I love the kids. I love the families. I love the community. It's, I love being able to teach the kids about Jesus and bringing religion into every subject. I just, I just love Sacred Heart. Yes, it's a pretty great school. It is. Wow, Miss Meyer is awesome. Now it's time for Siobhan on the Street. She is coming to ask you what your favorite Thanksgiving food is. Have fun with Siobhan. Hey guys, it's Siobhan, and we're going to be asking people what their favorite Thanksgiving side is. Let's go. Favorite Thanksgiving side? 
You know, this is a tricky one. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go with mac and cheese. Wow, it took you pretty long. Okay, we're in the rhinestoning elective, and we're gonna ask Anna what her favorite Thanksgiving side is. Anna, what's your favorite Thanksgiving side? My favorite Thanksgiving side is probably mashed potatoes. Ooh, me too. Okay, we're in the kindergarten classroom, and we're gonna ask Tommy what his favorite Thanksgiving side is. Tommy, what's your favorite Thanksgiving side? Corn. Ooh, me too. That's my second favorite. Okay, we're in the PE elective, and we're gonna ask Adam what his favorite Thanksgiving side is. Adam, what's your favorite Thanksgiving side? Uh, mashed potatoes or rolls. Ooh, those are good. Okay, so we're in the Star Wars elective, which last time let down, so we're gonna ask Cole what his favorite Thanksgiving side is. Cole, what's your favorite Thanksgiving side? My favorite Thanksgiving side is ham and Hawaiian rolls. Woo! Happy Thanksgiving! Wow, thanks, Siobhan. That was turkey terrific. Next up, we have an exciting sports story with Julia. Hi, we're back at Tigger at Sports, and we're going to interview Grant Dingus about the kickball tournament. Now, Grant, how do you think your team did? We did pretty good. We had some tough games, but we came out to win those games. Do you think your team put in the effort to win? Yes, at the start, we got some stretches in to get warmed up, and then we were ready. Now, I have a really good question for you. In the kickball tournament, you have this amazing play where you threw the ball, you ran as fast as you can through the ball and hit the person before they hit the base. Are just, you proud of that? Yeah, on the flash, you know. Nobody can catch me. Well, that's it for Sacred Art Sports. Wow, that was exciting. To end it off, we have Addie going to interview Mrs. Reem about our speech program. Hi, I'm Addie from Sacred Heart TV, and I'm going to be interviewing Mrs. Reem, uh, the speech coach. Mrs. Reem, how do you think uh, your speech team did at the speech meet? Oh, our speech team did phenomenal at the speech meet. So we took three duets. All three duets received blue ribbons, which, as you guys know, is like first place honors. And then we had our one solo performer, Addie, and she also received a gold ribbon for having a perfect score. So that's an outstanding job. Thanks, Mrs. Reem. We got a blue. Me and Jace got a blue. We got a blue ribbon. Nice. Everyone did great at the speech meet. Facts. <laughs> well, that's all for today's episode. Have a wonderful Thanksgiving. See you next time. Bye. Bye.